the AI city of the future, a city built around different levels of artificial intelligence, with a central AI brain that receives and sends data to all of the connected machines in the city, from the surveillance drones, the self-driving cars, to the drone delivery apartment buildings, and so much more. The streets have no lanes or traffic lights. The city AI creates an hourly digital road layout for the self-driving cars and vehicles. More lanes are created during rush hours, and streets are erased during weekends to create more pedestrian spaces. The digital road layout is also adjusted based on weather, construction, and special events. Buildings have been redesigned. Apartment buildings have drone landing pads on the roof where deliveries are made. A small elevator brings the package down into the building, and a robot collects it and delivers it to the person's door, where a robotic post box brings the package into the home. City streetlights have platforms on top where the drones are able to recharge. Online shopping fulfillment centers and warehouses are located in the middle of the city, acting as the heart of the city. They are housed in tall buildings with open windows that drones fly in and out of collecting packages, just like a beehive. Parks in the AI city are equipped with robotic caretakers that maintain the green spaces and monitor air quality. With no more gas cars, the pollution in AI cities is down to almost zero. But the central AI uses drones to carefully monitor and watch for any spikes in air pollution around the city, especially around factories and construction sites. The drones also survey for spikes in noise pollution. Underground, crawling robots are monitoring the pipes. Garbage is analyzed and sorted at an AI recycling facility, keeping track of where it is coming from in the city. Self-driving garbage trucks are dispatched by the central AI based on real-time data. The AI City's public transportation system is a fleet of self-driving electric buses and subway stops. Cameras count the number of people waiting in line at each stop, and the central AI sends more buses and subway cars when needed. Predictive maintenance is used for city repairs. The central AI is able to predict when parts of the city need repairing before anything breaks and sends robot workers to the locations, from potholes and graffiti to streetlights and cracked building windows. Some cities analyze photos from social media feeds, monitoring to see if any maintenance is needed in any city areas, such as roads, parks, and sidewalks. The central AI brain manages the energy consumption within the city. Streetlights are fitted with sensors that adjust the brightness based on pedestrian traffic. The central AI has access to the batteries inside office and apartment buildings. It is able to store energy at night when demand is low and redistribute the energy to nearby buildings when demand is high during the day, creating microgrids within the city. I am AI. There are designated quiet zones throughout the city. It is an experimental project where specific areas in the city are AI-free zones, giving the humans a sense of freedom and peacefulness. Cameras around the perimeter of these quiet zones track who goes in and out. The airspaces above are no drone fly zones. There are no robots or self-driving vehicles allowed inside, except at night for maintenance. The spaces are open, free, green pastures for the humans.